All right, Iran is shutting down, I don't know what it's called, it, it's uh, whatever the place is called that has one third of, one third of the oil <clears throat> throughout the entire world, if I'm reading correctly, or listening to it. And I know in the Bible, it talks about one third, uh, one third of the, everything is burned up, one third of this, and one third of that, and the things are divided. Um, so that's, that's, they're kind of trying to connect that. Some uh, military leader man is in charge now as of today in, for Iran. And before Iran really came into the picture, and before Iran was called a terrorist group uh, by Trump, which was on April 6th. And um, so before they were really in the picture, uh, that's something in my head clicked to where that is going to be the bear with the three ribs in its teeth because Russia is considered a bear but they still have to throw some look they throw the bait out there and then to see who's biting on you know the majority of the world bites on this specific bait and then um, then there's another bait it's like a conspiracy bait and the, the, the other portion that don't bite on that they bite on this and then and then there's the real bait the real meat to bite on that's the actual truth of the matter and that's that's where I tend to gravitate to is the the bait that tastes good you know and um, so yeah Iran's dropping bombs I, it, they're dropping bombs it's it's gonna be like it's already recorded you know I kind of I don't like to say this I really don't I, I don't I don't like when I re-listen and I hear myself saying that I knew or I said or I told you so or yeah you know, but what am I supposed to do I just got to refer back to the videos here I'll say it like this in one of my prior videos uh, see there in one of my prior videos I said that you know what I mean I can't help it Iran's going to drop bombs on America slash Israel now why did I put America slash Israel well because it's Israel uh, literally on the TV screen boom uh, spiritually Israel us and um, because we were Americans but we're Israelites and so because uh, Israel is part of the script the big big part that's why I throw it in there so before all this stuff was before Iran was really into the picture <clears throat> I told you so. It's in the video where Iran's dropping bombs, and then and then and then North Korea, because they were kind of. Um, I tell you, man, this this is some fun stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I when it's time to when this is all over and done with. What am I gonna investigate? But when North Korea was out of the picture for a little bit. And, you know, I said, um, I said, what I said was, don't worry, you know, North Korea, they're gonna, they're gonna come back up, they're gonna, they're gonna poke their head out. Hey, did Trump say anything yet about, uh, North Korea? See, this is what's, I see the, the, the theme of this too, okay? The theme is, normally... Trump would get up and say something immediately. Normally, ISIS claims responsibility to meet like that. Normally, everything is announced quickly, you know? Now, 
Uh, they want to, they want to put the brakes on things. Just oh, this, this. they want to get all of the conspiracies out of the way. That way they can chop your channel down, like chop, 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 and you're out. So that's exactly what's going to happen with this channel here, and anybody else who is saying anything that's true and uh, doesn't have a script to read from some other person. So Iran is going to drop bombs. And, and America, well, you know, wouldn't that be something if it was all real? And it's like, and I'm just like, yeah, whatever, yeah, sure. And then next thing you know, uh, according to Gematria, I get out of my car, I get pulled over by the police, and then they, sh they shoot me in the back because I ran. Because I... Because Rab and Henry T's the criminal, ran and got shot by caps. Uh, which lines up with everything else that... There's no way Steve wouldn't have wrote anything in there like that. I mean... You know what I mean? Like... Rab and... Yeah, Rab and he's, he's got a... He's got quite a resume on Gematria. Well, gee, I wonder why. I mean, who's the king of Gematria, huh? You... I don't know, I mean, I look at, here's here's how I look at Gematria, all right? Here's how I look at it. At the beginning, I never heard of it. The beginning of 2018, never heard of it. Not one thing have I ever heard about Gematria. Then I dig into it, I'm starting to believe it. I'm like, well, it's, and then it's like, well, what about, how come it says this, but then it says that? How come it says this good thing, but then it says this bad thing? Like, how do you take the good and not the bad and the bad not the good? It's kind of lukewarm. And then, so then I call, you know, I call it all bullshit. Uh, but then I understand the craft. The craft is, well, it's truth and it's lies. And it's, it's so you have to figure out what is true and what's a lie. Kind of like how Steve, Vin, James, Deshaun, the character, the Stephen James Deshaun character, you know, the one that's, and you know, you know, you told me last year you're gonna have, you got 80 people who's supposed to be coming to you, Peter, John, and James, or uh, Peter, Peter Pan, Peter Pipe, Pick the Pepper. I don't know. All these people are supposed to come to your house. Um, John, Juan. So Juan's there. John, Ron, Ron, Paul. Uh, Paul should be coming soon. Huh? And Peter, and then um, James. You're James, so you're already there. But. Peter, John, and James are supposed to show up first. So you already got you already got Juan and and you're gonna open up the Mexican restaurant before you met Juan and Juan happens to be Mexican. <laughs> oh man, I mean it's, it's so coincidental. So uh what was my point? I don't know. What was it? Why did I get why did I get sidetracked? See, I hate when that happens. I get sidetracked by James. Oh yeah, Gematria. I'm sorry. Uh, now I understand, okay, I get it. When, when Steve was talking about, you don't know who you're messing with. You're messing with fire. And then you put it right to 33 degree Mason because that's who I'm messing with, is you. And, um, so I see your subliminal message that way. And then I realize, oh, okay, I get it. You know, you know what? You can, you can see like straight through that. You can tell who, you can tell. I don't know if everybody could tell, but I'm just saying that in my heart, my heart is telling me. Oh, that's Steve. He definitely wrote that one about me. And then this one here, well, it's just random. And then this one here, yeah, I can tell. And so, what is written in that book? It's a craft. The craft is. You have to see what is true and what is false. What's a lie and what's true. So I'm seeing it. I'm seeing what the things mean. And uh, so anyway, I, don't know, I haven't, I haven't really looked into it much. I just, I, I looked at my name because I, 
because you know I'm apparently I'm developing this this major uh, resume in gematria with my name and it's close to it I'll probably check it again it's close to 450 entries and I, th I have a feeling it just has to get I mean come on son I have a feeling it has to get to 450 before this is up I just have this weird feeling that it's necessary to get there uh, I'm gonna give out my email and because my channel's gonna get shut down real soon. And I wanna know, I wanna know what's going on in different parts of the world. And uh, hold on a second. Um, so here's the deal. I'm gonna give out my email, and I never thought about doing this before, but I'm starting to think about it now. And I, a lot of people have, yeah, I don't know what it is. I think all the major channels, right? Like Richie, for instance, he gives out his email, and um, I, he he wants people to. Uh, be in contact with him because he can well for whatever reason I, I'm not going to speculate I don't want to speculate anymore because because apparently when you speculate uh, and you're wrong I mean when you speculate you speculate and you're right but you can't prove it th th you're going to chop you down so but either way it's all coming soon because everything's getting shut down uh, when you have one third of the oil getting shut down well, don't you think that means that it, travel's going to slow down really soon and everything is shutting down? So it's all purpose this way. The reason why I'm, I'm not worried about none of it is because it's, we're going into the eighth year. And uh, we were warned about God's judgment uh, seven years ago on May 21st, 2011. And then 30 years ago, we were warned about from the same guy, you know, the same person that warned us. 30 years ago that the church age ended back in 1988 on May 21st. So I'm sticking with those dates. Now, um, back to my email. Here's, here's like, here's the uh, requirements, I guess. I'm going to give it out. And you can leave your phone number in the email and you know who you are uh, one of my subs obviously now I know I'm gonna get trolls I know I'm gonna get agents I understand it but I don't care because if you're an agent um, and if you're my enemy right well I'm gonna love my enemies until they become my friends because that's how it works. You can't hate love for too long. It's just impossible to stay stay mad. And <clears throat> yeah, I was kind of yeah, I have a quick little story because I'm going off topic, but um, well, it's not really a story. It's just when you're around people that don't get along with each other and you're in the middle of a conversation and and you kind of see that uh, you know if one person's trying to stay calm and the other one can't really stay calm and the and the, the tone of voice gets elevated and you can sense the irritation the frustration um, it makes me understand that people really need Christ in their heart they just need it in their heart and I know it's not an easy thing to just like get it because it takes a lot of time and experience but man I'll tell you it shows you where you're at with your whether you're calmly speaking to people 
or not. It's like a, uh, it just helps. It helps tremendously. So anyway, um, I'll put my email out, out there because I know we're all getting shut down and um, it does help if you have a face. You know what I mean? It helps if you have a face and you're somebody that that I can I can visualize it's like this when you're talking to somebody okay you need to have a face it's just a fact so you can you can see that you're not just like talking to a, a, a random troll so I don't know I, I guess I'm gonna try it I'll probably have a different um, I just have a separate phone line just for that because I tried it before you know with the open form live calling I tried it I remember whoopsie doodle called me and she was cool you know even though I know I get I get trolled a lot by it and I and, and come to think of it I went on and I unblock everybody who I blocked. I even unblocked Jamie the Wabbit. The most disgusting, vile, sickening commenter out there. And I'm gonna, you know, I haven't checked the comments recently, but I'm gonna um, see how that works. And I know it's all, I know that that individual has a specific uh, personality for that account and I know that that person is an obvious insider there's no question about it because I made a video before on the beating trolls to a poll account I think it was and it wasn't even uploaded yet uh, or it didn't even have a view and then that that rabbit commented saying something about it being me because it wasn't I didn't even put my face in there so you know what I mean that's how it gives it away with people and uh, so I just wanted people to tell the truth but if you're an agent so what I used to care it used to bother me that people would, were agents and they were talking to me now I understand well you know agents are people too I mean it just the greatest account name ever in the world is I you know I wish the person would just show their face and be like hey look that was me I am the one that made up agents or people too because because I said that you know I was downing agents and and, and they I guess they took it to heart and then made an account and said that agents are actually people too so I'll try that um, but let me just tell you now if I don't get back to people don't hold it against me because if it's not even open now for conversation just leave it at that I'm not open for conversation but if I give my email out and then I have a contact number then uh Well, then it's a plus. You know what I mean? I guess it's a plus. Because I because I have a feeling that there's certain people that want to talk. And and I, I feel the same way, especially... And here's the main reason. When YouTube is shut down, <coughs> okay? And I think this is probably why other people have done it too. I don't know. May I just catch on later? Um, because it's like the trust issue is... And again, how do I really know people are going to be honest when I'm talking to you I don't if you want to play that game and be that way after YouTube is shut down well, that's still on you but I'm going to be a kind of curious as to what is being said and talked about in your part of town when everything really starts to jump off and take place right here when the rest of these churches and hotels and just everything imaginable 
starts to get shut down because everybody is fearing. Now, the regular YouTube or regular uh, conspiracy theories, like my brother, for instance, will say, yeah, right, it, this has always happened. Yeah, so what? Big deal. Yeah, who cares? They're blowing up. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. It's like, I try to talk to him, and he gets angry with me because, it, because you know what it is? There's a fear that sets in of the government is killing us, and um, there's nothing we can do about it. So, the way I see it is completely different, where, no, I'm looking at uh, Satan's job. Like, I'm going to give you a good, uh, here's a perfect example uh, as to what Satan is and Christ. I have a cat named Decker, right? He's black, black cat. I have a dog named Bowie. He's a black dog, a, a ch chocolate lab a little bit. And Bowie is like Christ. The spirit, the calmness, the intelligence, um, the quickness, the uh, everything about him is, is Christ-like. And then you got Decker. Now Decker refuses to ever accept Bowie as a brother. And so I've been in my house for seven years. So Bowie's about seven years old. Decker is a couple years older. He's about nine. He has never accepted Bowie and he always hates him. Just constantly, just he refuses to get along with. Now, Lucky, when he was alive, um, Lucky was like, you know, hey, you're my brother and you're my brother, so I'm not taking sides. Lucky would lay with Decker and Lucky would lay with Bowie. Uh, no, no um, respect of, of persons, okay? So, uh, can I turn? On red. So back to comparison. Decker is purely evil, but I love that cat because he's it. He's he's such a dominant. Like it's a an amazing. Uh, this little cat has this pineal gland, right? That is so dominant, and um. It got to the point where when, when Bowie would mess around with Decker, right, and Decker hops up on the thing and he's, and then Decker is a, you know, we named it beforehand, but he is a boxing cat. That cat can swing like, like Muhammad Ali, and he smacks the shit out of Bowie's face. So it got to the point where Bowie is now afraid to go up to the cat because he knows that those paws sting like bees like bees above <laughs> but god I, I had all these bees it's like bible prophecy i don't know where the bees are at in the bible but it's like bees bees above <laughs> and it, they're all there and i was like oh my god it's like it's so crazy and i seen this crow death to america and i'm like yo get out of here so anyway he his paws hurt big time, and Bowie knows it, so he kind of does... If he messes with him, he's like... He's really careful to not get hit, because he remembers. So, the point is, Satan is a is a, an, an energy, just like Christ is an energy, and it's a decision that you make. It's a, do you want to go in this direction, do you want to go in that direction? Are you naturally this way, or are you naturally that way? And then... Um, so I see, I look at Satan as that. Satan is something, someone that you love, um, but you don't, you don't have to be like him. So when I look at my cat, Decker, I see pure evil in that cat, but at the same time, pure love. It's just he has more of the pure evil because he has that, that like, that hatred towards the dog and then the dog is more pure purely good because he has that love that is just unconditional and he's always just trying to get along no matter what so I look at it like that where Satan is very necessary in his world or else God wouldn't have created him
and so is Christ, the Spirit. They're both equally important. And um, so, you know, Satan and uh, the Christ Spirit, when they had a child, the child's name was Lucifer. And Lucifer winds up repenting in the end. And uh, so that's that's kind of like what... It's like Christ is, is all good, Satan is all evil, and Lucifer has experienced both. Lucifer experienced Satan and the fall and then the rise of as Christ. So I'll try it. I mean, it would help if people, when you, um, I know I'm kind of dragging it out here, but because I'm trying to think. When you uh, put your name in there, just put your, um, I mean, if you want, you know, you don't have to, you don't have, nobody has to do anything. I'll probably check my emails and there's nothing there. So, and there's, um, there's a couple people I still, I have their number, I just haven't, I haven't called them uh, yet. Because I was kind of waiting for, it's like, in a sense, I'm kind of waiting for YouTube to shut down. And then I'll start talking because right now, I'm just consumed with finding things out. Constantly find, you know, these stories keep happening and I can't help but remember like, wait a Whoa, hold on. Didn't I say something like this? And then I go find the video and, and I did say it because it was there. And then I have to piece it together, the evidence for the CIA. So I can give you guys the information uh, to help you because how can you remember everything I say? You can't. You can hear like, oh yeah, didn't he say, I think he said so. So then I take all of my videos and I put them all together. I see how the same thing, these false prophets doing the same thing. They're taking all their videos to, and they're putting links down below and so you know. But you guys have been reading freaking scripts the entire time. And that's kind of what still irritates me is I know you guys are lying, but I know it's Satan's job. Is that? It's like, and then I, I, then I, I look at my cat. It's like I get mad at you guys, and I'm like, ah, I, I, I get it, I, you know, I get it. But it's, it does still, it kind of irritates me where people try to take credit, and I hate that. I hate when you try to take credit when you don't deserve the credit, and you're a liar. And you know, Steve is the biggest liar, so. Because he says I'm the biggest liar. It's just so funny how he is in, he is locked into that character, and now people are coming to his house and this men's shelter, and it's just, uh, it's not pre-planned, not at all. And, uh, hey, tell your colleagues I said what's up, Steve. Uh, tell Juan Rodriguez there that I'll be stopping by. Uh, you know, I'll I will try uh, the burritos that you have there when you open up your store. We can all sit around and eat burritos and stuff. It'd be pretty, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the character is locked in, and and he just doesn't budge from it. Uh, but he calls me a liar, and I, you know, it's funny. It is. But when you're the biggest liar on planet Earth, you know, I tend. It's like I. I have learned to love my enemies. I mean, I just have. I don't love the sin that you do. I, matter of fact, it makes me sick. Lying makes me sick. It just does. But I understand that it's necessary in these days because here's the thing. If you guys, I'll take it like this, look. If, if you guys are lying, right? I mean, not if. Sorry, God. Blasphemy. I said if. Because you guys are lying, I would rather you guys lie about all these murders and bombings and fires and destruction and everything than to be telling uh, the truth and saying that you really are. See what I'm saying? So, because... Everything is turned upside down, including my own videos. Like, only Steve could do that. It's an inside joke because Rabin likes to turn things upside down. Like Peter. Because uh, he's going to get hung upside down just like him. But, 
maybe something will happen upside down with St. Peter, the church, when it collapses or something. I don't know. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, ah, crap. I don't know. Whatever. Peter, Paul, John, and James, I think. So, anyway, when all that stuff does happen, and and um, and you see it with your own eyes, <clears throat> oh yeah, lying, which refers to it. When you see that with your own eyes, well, you're going to know that they're lying, right? You're going to know it's not true, and therefore you can't possibly be afraid of anything when you know that everything you see is a lie. Now, are there real bombs? Of course there are. There's pyrotechnicians. I mean, they, they are perfect trained professionals not even the stuntmen are getting hurt and um, it, it's all Hollywood it's all the extras in movies that are extras still there and they are paid to not say anything and uh, and it, see that's where they get in trouble if they do say something I don't know what might happen to them that way but you got to stay in the boundaries of the game and the game is, well, I came from the outside looking in, and you guys are from the inside looking out. And uh, I can say whatever I want, and there's no repercussions on my end because everything is uh, honest and from the beginning. But if somebody's on the inside saying things, I don't know how that works because I've never been on the inside saying things. I've always been on the outside looking in, saying things about the people that are in there. And those people that are in there, they wonder like, well, how the hell do you know what we're doing? I mean, we're in the dark. Who seest thou what we are, are doing? And so it's getting to the point where, you know what? If everything is real, right? And I'm telling you what is going to happen next and what bombing is happening over there. Well, I'm going to be labeled as a terrorist and they're going to come lock me up, you know. But because everything's fake, I can do that and I can say what's happening because I know it's not real. There's no way in hell that it's real. So, Israel. 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 Israel? Israel? Or is it not real? Americans in Israel. So yeah, we're terrorists, and um, 